Okay, we're out here working on this pivot door, and we've got the frame installed. Uh, big lag bolts from the sides. Um, the, we have fasteners hidden under the strike, so the strike plate came off, and we put fasteners all along and shimmed on the outside of the door frame, and the fasteners are underneath our strike plate. It's not these screws, it's actually additional fasteners underneath the strike plate. And then on the top and the sides, we came in through the framing and, and screwed in from that, from over here, from this direction. So we don't have any fasteners showing on the tops or the bottom, or on the top or this side. Um, so that's really nice. So that's how we kept all our hiddeners, fasteners hidden everywhere. Um, so the frame is installed, it's level, plumb. We're getting ready to put the, the door slab in. And to do that, we've got to put the bottom pivot on Glenview Doors is who this comes. This store comes from, and the pivot hardware is from Fitz Jurgens, and then the uh, the the locking hardware is a multi-point system. We're going to do a video on that, but the locking hardware is from Sigania. So three different companies, uh, but anyway, Glenview hangs these doors, and they ship with Fitz Jurgens. They ship this bottom pivot with these little pins that stick into these holes here. So while the little pins are probably fine, I'm switching these little pins out for these much larger pins. It makes me feel better. Is it necessary? I don't know. But it makes me feel better. So we're gonna take those pins. Now the holes aren't deep enough, so I'm gonna go ahead So I've got those holes drilled a bit bigger. We're actually gonna tap this down into place. Before we do that, we're gonna fill these holes with caulking. And we're gonna use this glue here. I'm using clear, because obviously I'm making a mess. Okay, so that's, that's 
see we have a really nice hammer here. That was how we put the bottom pivot in. It's got a cover on it, so this is what the door pivot point actually goes into. Um, so, and this has four set screws on it that actually cause it to be in, uh, you can change its position relative to the door slab and that allows you to adjust how it, how fast it opens and closes, kind of where it sits, like it's 90 degrees or uh, like does it kind of stop at 10 degrees and allow you to push it the rest of the way. So it's just got a few different adjustments, but these four set screws, they need to be tight. They absolutely need to be tight, uh, very tight. But these are what allow you to kind of adjust the door. But for right now, we're gonna put it perfectly parallel with the door sill. So I'm, I don't, I hope that we don't end up needing to make any adjustments. But um, if we do, we loosen these set screws and we retighten them. But for right now, we're gonna put it parallel because I think that's right where it should be. We'll do another video on the head, the head pivot point. But yeah, that's, that's how I think the bottom pivot should be done. Again, that's Fitzjurgens. Um, somebody else might do it differently, but that's what makes me feel good.